YouTube, Brother Mike, Man of God on Fire for Christ. It's going to be a very short video. Hey, YouTube, if you don't know who you are in Christ, now a lot of us say we, we, we think we know. If you don't know who you are in Christ, Satan is going to attack you. If you don't know who you truly are in Christ, you got to realize that you are the son or daughter of Christ. These demons cannot mess with you if you know who you are. They are try, but see, you'll fight back with the word of God. When they try to make you look poor, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. That is not what my father want me to do. That is your thought, not my thought. But if you just beat yourself up and, you know, you try to ignore the thought and you try to ignore the thought and you just keep going on about yourself. You don't rebuke those demons. You're going to find yourself looking at porn. You're going to find yourself sinning. When Satan tries to attack you, when he tries to attack you, you attack him right back with the word of God. It has to be a head on collision. You can't keep letting him gnaw at you and gnaw at you and gnaw at you and gnaw at you and, gnaw at you and just and just and just put tuck your head down. When he attacks you, you have to attack him right back with the word of God and deny him for what he's trying to put in your mind. Because he's going to attack your mind first, because if he can attack your mind and make you submit to that thought, then he'll make you sin because he wants to put thoughts in our head. That's where he attacks. He wants you to put a dirty thought in your head to make you make you think that you thought it. And when you think it, he can make you sin. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't caught that girl in the rock when wow, you know, you she was easy. Call her up, man. You know you want to have sex today. Call her up. Yeah, put that thought in your head. You see what I'm saying? And you might not have called that girl in months because you're trying to do right with God. You're trying to be right with God. And it goes with the women too. You know, they'll make you call that person that you know that's ready every time you're ready. But you know you're trying to get rapture ready for God. You have to attack him right back with that. I haven't called that person. God has delivered me from that. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's not my thought. That's your thought. And then God said, if you rebuke, if you resist Satan, he'll flee. So Satan will go running away. He'll go running away. And then you tell you tell God, thank you for that victory as victory in Jesus Christ. Remember to always thank God when you when you rebuke Satan. Thank him. Because that's when, that's when you become spiritually stronger. Every time you rebuke Satan, every time you reject him, you become stronger in your spirit. See, but see, Satan, uh, you know, when you rebuke him, Satan to come back here, mosey back around after a while just to see. Did you really mean what you did? He'll mosey back around, back around. Hey. Did you think about what I said about that girl or that guy? Do you still want to call them? And you got to rebuke him again. And then he'll flee again. And you might have to do that over and over and over again. You might have to do it three or four times a day. Because Satan is always going to try to creep back in. Eleven Hoping that you are, that you are backslide. Hoping. That you will get back into your old ways. Because that's his ultimate plan. He'll come back 50 times. If he can get you to go back into your old ways, he'll come back a million times. But the point is, you recognize him. You recognize the attack. You see what I'm saying? You got to recognize the attack. So this is a short video. I love you, YouTube. May God bless y'all and keep you. So... I'm sorry, I'm back. Um, it is, we got to, you know, we have to fight Satan as many times as we have to, man. We got to. We have to. Remember when he, Jesus fought him. Jesus fought him. Each time he, you know, each time he tried to tempt Jesus Christ. And, and you know what? Jesus is our, Jesus is our road map. The way we should do and what we should do when it regards life, when it regards treating others nice, when it regards fighting Satan, God always rebuked him.
he always, we, we, you know, he didn't give Satan a chance. He rebuked him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have to do. We got to rebuke him as many times as, as, as he tries to tempt us to do something that's out of the will of God. Because believe me, if Satan can play, can play pity pat with you and he know he can keep making you sin and you weak. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, you know, you might rebuke him one time and he goes away for like two or three hours. But then when he comes back and you fall weak to that, believe me, Satan think he has your number. He think he has, he's not going to take you serious. So you rebuke him one time, he come back three hours later. You get the strength to rebuke him again. He comes an hour later and you fall short again. You it, it's just like you it's just like you didn't, you know, in his mind it's like you didn't rebuke him those other two times. Yeah, he made me go away from him this time, but you know, he he I remember last week he was weak. She was weak last week. She rebuked me a couple of times, but I know after the third or fourth time she'll give in. He'll give in. You got to get in the habit of always rebuking him, always rebuking him, always rebuking him, because he's going to try you to the day you die. He's going to try you. But see, if you get it in your mindset that you're not the person that you used to be, but that you're who God have transformed you to be, it'll be easier and easier and easier to rebuke him. And each time you rebuke him, you ask God to give you more strength to rebuke him again when he comes back. That is that is, that is, that is what we have to do. That's called putting on your armor. That's why Jesus Christ said we got to have armor. That's called putting on your armor. Praying, you know, reading your word, and constantly talking to God. And when he comes back to you to tempt you, you meet him head on with the word of God. You meet him head on with the word of God. And then you're gonna you're gonna put up that wall because you're gonna have on your you're gonna have on your armor. So when he tries to mosey on through your brain, he gonna what is this? What is this? Man, I can't get through that no more. That's the armor of God. Put on your whole armor, God says. We can't keep allowing Satan to attack our mind. No way. If he keep attacking your mind and he keep making you weak, you weak. That's how people get back into the world. And some of the strongest people can get back in the world. You're absolutely right. Some of the strongest people can get back in the world. That's why you see pastors and you see these popes and, and they're falling into sin. You see what I'm saying? And if they don't repent and change their ways, you can find yourself right back into the world, right back into where you know you was before you accepted Jesus Christ. You know? So I just want to encourage you guys because I'm fighting the same battle. I'm not going to keep letting Satan slip into my mind, make me think those thoughts is mine, and have me sinning against the Father. Oh, no way. No way. I'm all day today, and you gotta you gotta set your day. I'm going to battle for say I'm going to battle with Satan today. I'm not gonna let him push me over. I'm not gonna let let him knock me down today. That's a liar. That's that's that side of the pit of hell. He's not gonna make me look at no women today. He he's not gonna let me you know watch no porn today. I'm going to battle him. I'm going to meet him right on the battlefield. I'm going to meet him straight up in the name of Jesus Christ. And the battles are going to be, uh, uh, they're going to be fierce battles because it's your soul that's at stake. But remember, the Holy Spirit is in you. Jesus is in you. God is with you. Your angels are with you. But we got to ask for the help. We got to say, Lord, I'm getting weak. Father God, help me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you, Satan. That's not my thought. That is your thought. Go back to the pit of hell where you came from. That's what we got to do daily, constantly. We got to fight Satan, constantly. We got to meet him on the battlefield. 
you know? What did Jesus do? He tried to offer him some bread and Jesus was hungry. 40 days fasting. Take this bread and eat it. If you're the son of God, make this, make this rock turn into bread. Jesus attacked them right back. Man cannot live off of bread and bread alone, but every word of, of God. See what I'm saying? He gave us the tool, man. You got to fight him right back with the word. And if you don't know the word, just rebuke him. In the name of Jesus Christ, that is not my thought. That's your thought, Satan. I rebuke you. That'll be that wall. He can't penetrate when you put Jesus' name in it. He can't penetrate through that. He's going to bump his head. And when you rebuke him, the God said the devil must flee. He's going to get up out of there, man. But he's going to try you again later on that day. Maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes. He's going to try back. Every time you rebuke him, you get spiritually stronger. You, you, you're going to get spirit. And then those, and then instead of him being this big, instead of him being this big, as big as my hand, the attacks is going to get little like a finger. You're going to be able to look, look at, look at Satan. He just, he just a lost puppy. You can't break through the arm of God, man. He's still trying though. And the tax is going to get smaller and smaller like a little pinky finger. Because you're going to be so spiritually strong and you're going to be glowing with the spirit of God over you. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have the whole spirit of God over you as you keep rebuking Satan and as you keep praying and as you keep getting stronger. You're going to have the spirit of God over you. And those demons are going to be able to see that spirit of God. But they're still so dumb. And they see it still so wicked and evil. They still going to try you. Even though they see the spirit of God all over you. And you glowing with the spirit of God over you. They're still going to. They're still going to. Going to. Going to still try you. But see those attacks are going to be so small. And so weak. And here it is. You standing with the Lord. And those attacks are going to be so weak. But they, they, they're still going to try. But see, when you give in to Satan, you're letting your spiritual wall down. So that's why Satan is zipping, 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 zipping and out your mind. He going in and out your mind because there ain't no wall there. Because you keep on, you, you keep on, you're not rebuking Satan. You keep on believing what he's telling you in your mind. Go watch porn, okay. Go do this, okay. Go do this, okay. Go cut somebody out. Go do this. And he's in and out your mind. You got no wall there because you're not standing on Jesus Christ. You got to stand on the word of God. You got to stand and know who you truly are. And then those attacks is going to start hitting walls. And that's what we got to have in our mind. We got to have a spiritual wall in your mind. To know when you're getting attacked. And that's called the armor of God, man. May God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. The rapture is very soon, y'all. I don't know. It might be today. I don't know. It might be next week. Look, we always got to be prepared for when Jesus is coming, y'all. And I think y'all are ready. I think we, re we are ready. We ready. If you've been watching my channel, you've been following me, and can, God bless all y'all who just watching me for the first time, man. It's been a joy with this channel, man. It's been a joy talking to you guys. It's been a it's been a joy, you know, fellowshipping with you guys. And our and our our trip is almost over, you know. I hope y'all bags are packed because it should be packed right now. And if you haven't packed your bags, Jesus Christ is coming. Pack your bags. You know, we got to be ready to leave here at any time, y'all. You know, it's not getting ready. It's called be ready. Because when Jesus comes back, you're not going to have enough time to get ready. It's called be ready. Because when he comes, flash of a light. It's going to be quicker than anything you've ever experienced. And a saints that's ready... I think my channel, the people that's been watching my channel and all these other people's channels, we're, we're ready because we're waiting on the Lord. It's not going to catch us like a thief in the night. We're not the five unwise wives. We've been looking. We've been waiting on Jesus. We wait every morning. This could be the day. That is what we've been doing on these channels. And God bless y'all so much. I pray that this channel has been a blessing to you. It's been a blessing to me and my family. 
y'all have been a blessing. Y'all comments have been a blessing. You know, people been calling me for prayer. That's been a blessing, man. I love to pray for people, you know. And if you don't like talking, send me a text. You know, if you're going through something, send me a text. I will put my hand over my phone and I will pray over you. While I'm at work, while I'm at home. We are brothers and sisters, y'all. Don't be too don't be too prideful to, to pray. If you need prayer, let me know. Let me know. You know, let me know. You don't have to get personal into what it is. You know, you don't have to tell me something that 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 you didn't did. You can keep that between you and God. But just brother Mike, I need prayer. I need prayer. Case closed. I'm gonna pray for you. Case, case. Nothing much. Nothing else to be said. I'm gonna pray for you. Cause that's what we called to do. We called to pray for one another. May God bless you and keep you. YouTube. Rather, I see you with another video, or I see you in the clouds. I love y'all. Please check out those last videos that I made, y'all. It's just my testimony of how Satan has attacked my life. How he tried to kill me on the streets. You know, almost getting shot. Almost getting drowned. Had a gun put in my mouth. You know. Demons tried to attack me when I was younger, man. Just some good videos, y'all. May God bless you and keep you, y'all. Love y'all so much. Until next time.